Hi there, this is Fixed It. This is a Sphero SPRK Plus and its battery is dying. And like all Sphero's, once the battery goes, it's completely useless. In order to make this Sphero usable again, I need to replace the battery. And to do that, I need to open up the Sphero. And this is how I do it. But before I go any further, I need to stress the fact that you should watch all of this video. It's not clickbait. There are significant problems I had while opening the Sphero's. Problems that you'll come across yourself. I ended up damaging several Sphero's in the process. So if you don't want to do the same, watch the video. I've been asked by a lot of people, what did I actually do to get in there? Um, basically, I took a small hammer and I heated up some polymorph in hot water and moulded it onto the head of the hammer to create a softer, round, smooth surface. Polymorphs are very tough plastic that melts at very low temperatures. It's cheap and easy to get hold of and I'll put a link in the description where you can get it from. I use it for all kinds of jobs at the moment. It's really worthwhile having around the house and this was particularly good for it. The great thing is, even though it's a very hard plastic, it's also soft. It isn't going to scratch the Sphero when I keep hitting it. If you hit it with a normal hammer, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up with massive scarring and scratching all the way around. And you may well end up just breaking and cracking the um, plastic. As you can see from this bolt, I've taken the inside out of it. But it's got this huge crack along the side. And that crack was caused by me using a slightly larger hammer that had no plastic on it. And I struck it just twice and it caused a hairline crack and then I reverted back to my plastic but as you can see the crack has continued along. But I'm actually going to do a, a battery replacement on this Sphero and then glue it back together again because the Sphero bolt works perfectly but the battery is completely dead. So what's the technique? When you look at your Sphero you can see that there's this blue line around it and if you put your nail across it you'll find that it's smooth on one side and then there's a ridge and basically what you want to be doing is hitting that ridge with the hammer and this is painful for me because I've, got, <laughs> because I've got arthritis in my fingers but I'm just showing you how to do it Okay, so again, find the ridge, which is there, and then you want to be hitting, you want to be hitting that ridge and rotating the Sphero in your hand. And what will happen is after you've been doing it for five or ten minutes, or possibly more, just gentle but firm tapping, you'll hear a difference in tone and what that difference tells you is that it's beginning to crack and then you can concentrate on the area that's cracked i'm not going to continue to do this for the next 15 minutes because it really does hurt my hands once you begin to get a difference in tone what you then do is put the Sphero between your hands and push and just gently move it around. Don't do it too hard. And what you're looking for is a gap forming between the blue line and the plastic ridge. And you'll get a gap appearing. Once you get that gap appearing, then you want to start working that gap a bit and then pressing again and then again working it round. If you're persistent, you can actually get the top off like this one and still have a ridge and have the two halves that can be glued back together. The other thing to note is that there is actually a V on the outside edge of the Sphero. And the good thing is that you can then line those V's back up when you go to glue the Sphero back together. I made a mistake on this one and the mistake I made was I thought well actually it's still gripping a bit 
Perhaps if I get a bit of solvent and just drip minute amounts in there, then it will come apart quicker. And it did. But what it's done is it's melted the plastic. And I think you can just about see on this here that there's this clouding. Now, if it's your own sparrow and you don't mind, then, you know, that's fine. But using acetone, it melted the plastic. So that's going to be a bit more tricky to get back together again afterwards. So the best method I've found is this slow tapping and rotating. And I'm quite serious, sooner or later it will come apart. If you start hitting too hard or trying to do it too quickly, you risk this occurring, which is a crack that goes from here and then goes off into the plastic of the sparrow itself. The interesting thing as well is that the bolts seem to be made out of a, a different polycarbonate than the SPRK pluses. In fact, the SPRK pluses appear to be tougher than the bolts. Um, and that's why I think possibly I, I got this crack, but I've taken a couple of bolts apart without any damage and certainly none of this. This was stupid. Again, using an unprotected hammer. And if I was to use the metal end, again, what you'll end up with is you'll end up with gouges and scratches, which will mess up your sphero. And as you can see here, there's a V. This is the bit that's going to give away last because it's an interlocking of the plastic. So when that eventually goes, it should come away in two halves. But you may get to the stage I was at with this, which is that you can open it wide enough in order to get this out. And I should have stuck to that because then locking it back together would have been easier rather than me deciding to see whether or not solvent would help. And I hope that helps. It's really quite difficult to do in that it's going to take you... I reckon the first one I did took me about 20 minutes of hammering in order to get into it. This second one I did took me a little less because I developed a kind of flicking technique with the hammer in order to bounce off it and also I knew where to concentrate the strikes you may also be tempted to put it down on a hard surface and belt it but again you risk the possibility of it just cracking around the sides once you start to get it open a bit the other thing you can do is to turn it so that the shiny edge is up facing the top and the groove is on the bottom and then actually to strike the top and keep doing that and then go around the edge and then strike the top the reason being is that because of this couple of millimeter gap here what that will do is that will force the seam to take all the pressure from the hit and in doing so it will help break the seal but as I say it's difficult to do be patient because if you're not patient and you try and rush it you'll crack it and break it and you know, you really don't want to do that because it won't glue together so well. I'm also working on another fix for those who've hacksawed the Sphero apart. As far as the Sphero 2 is concerned, um, I'll show you a Sphero 2 um, at the end of this video. But basically, this didn't work as well. The plastic that the Sphero 2 is made from isn't as resilient to being tapped and it tended to break into two halves but I, I think I have a fix for that and for people who hacksaw and I'll cover that in the next video. Hope you like the video. 
please check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel and share this with others. Um, this can save you a huge amount of money. For the bolts, getting into the bolt and then replacing the battery in the bolt, you know, saves £160 plus bolt or $170 bolt um, for the sake of $20, dollars $20. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. So that's how I do it. You need to cover your hammer in some plastic. I recommend polymorph. It really does seem to work. It hasn't scratched any of these ferro shells at all. They still look like new other than obviously the crack. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether or not any harder plastic will have ended up scoring. And as you can see here, there's a V. This is the bit that's going to give away last because it's an interlocking of the plastic. So when that eventually goes, it should come away in two halves. But you may get to the stage I was at with this, which is that you can open it wide enough in order to get this out. And I should have stuck to that because then locking it back together would have been easier rather than me deciding to see whether or not solvent would help. I reckon the first one I did took me about 20 minutes of hammering in order to get into it. In part two, I'll be giving you some additional tips and information on things like the Sphero 2. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.